Hi friends, so I am back with this fun DIY, super easy, like all of my DIYs, I know that I always say that in my intros, but I just want to show you, these are cards from the Dollar Tree and they're holiday cards, they're in obviously the card aisle throughout the Halloween section, and they're all fun Halloween cards, but what I see are some fun cutouts, so that's why I went and picked these up, because I like to frame and put stuff all over the house, that's the way that I incorporate holidays here into my house. So here are a couple of the frames that I work with that I love to use. I use canvas to create shadow boxes and that'll be in the next video which will be featuring some fall pieces. But I'm going to show you how it is that I created two pieces out of these frames and I'm going to show you the, the frame right there is what we're working with and that sequence we're going to utilize for this next piece. So this paper, this beautiful paper, is from the Frank Garcia Studio. I had the pleasure of working there. And I have a fun code for you to use online to purchase some of these pieces, should you like to. Please stay tuned for that. And this is part of the Maggie Holmes collection. It's called Heritage. So just that paper there with the pictures, and I thought it would work great for Halloween. So I picked up a couple of those pieces. And then the rest of the paper that you're seeing here is crepe paper, and it is the Hey Pumpkin line. And I absolutely love it. I'm going to show you how to go online and look at that paper, and that's what it looks like in the back. So a lot of my pieces I do not measure, unfortunately. I feel like I am dyslexic with numbers. I eyeball a lot of my pieces. I know that a lot of people get frustrated in my videos. I am I feel like I'm really dyslexic with numbers and measuring. So I have just kind of taught myself how to eyeball my pieces. Trace and cut, and I pretty much get the job done as is. And I'm really sorry, I apologize for that. I just find it so tedious to measure when I just I don't understand it and that is the truth guys I'm really sorry about that I'm learning slowly and um, I will have some exact measurements for you below so I have layered my pieces with foam tape from the Dollar Tree on that photograph I layered two pieces double on top of each other and then the piece behind it is just two pieces of foam tape as well and then as you can see right there I've added two pieces as well and I'm just gonna layer that the boo paper on top of that and that is the piece that's going to go directly has a ton of these little lights in store. They have purple, orange, 
white and I decided that I would give it a go with some purple. However, I did not like the way that the purple panned out so I did go with white. Moving on friends, I'm going to work with those cards that I picked up again and I took this card and a 5x7 frame from the Dollar Tree and have inserted it there and it's some Halloween art for my mantle. I have taken that ephemera piece that I was talking about from the studio and added that little haunted house there with some medical gauze as the webbing and then that piece there is the piece that they have in store that comes with a skull head on it. I've gone ahead and detached it and attached it with a ribbon. I glue, put some glue on the end there and glue on the ribbon and attached it in that way. But it don't use the fall ribbon, use some black coordinating ribbon. I just do these pieces so fast because I wanna show you what they can look like. So this is what it looks like. I hope you guys like this tutorial. I think they're super easy DIYs that anybody can pull off. This piece here is going up tomorrow. I cannot wait to show you that piece. It is interchangeable with seasons. It is using a Dollar Tree frame. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you have not liked or subscribed, go ahead and do so now. Thank you again, guys. I am feeling all of the love on my videos. I am just enjoying all of your feedback. So thanks again for following. Thanks again for being patient. I have not forgotten that that Hocus Pocus tutorial was requested. That will also go up tomorrow. And I just expect three videos up tomorrow, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.